Hi, Nelson here once again. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Gmail account without a mobile phone verification. So without much ado, let's hop on and I'll show you how to go about this. So let's dig in. First of all, whenever you're creating a Gmail account, I've created several of them especially for other businesses, you would have to verify a phone number, a message will come to that phone number, you put it into the Gmail account, and then there'll be that layer of verification for you to confirm that the account is for you and that you can always verify with a phone number and then get your, get your account back when it is blocked. But upon several account creation i realized that many business owners don't want to put their phones on the internet nobody want to put his phone on the internet i have my phone several times on different email accounts and since these are personal businesses for people you wouldn't want to be receiving notifications and quotes on your phone you send it back to the business owner there is a whole lot of mistrust and a whole lot of confusion with that so how do we go about creating an account without a mobile phone verification. Yes, there is an option for that. So let's see how we can go about that. So first of all, let's see how we can create an account with a mobile phone verification. So we type in Gmail into the browser, gmail.com. And from the interface, if you have the Gmail accounts, they'll all follow in a chronological order like that. But if you have never created a Gmail account before, you see a different interface than this. So let me open an incognito window and start creating a Gmail account. So this is what you see if you have never created a Gmail account on a certain computer, a certain laptop or a certain phone. There's what you see. So first of all, you click on create account either for yourself to manage my business. So you have that option. We are creating to manage a business. You have this option in an incognito window. So your first name and the face name of the business is Tasty Queen. And the last name is that is a restaurant. That the username is going to be Tasty Queen Restaurant at gmail.com. Password. You can confirm that here. Okay. You move to nest. So you see that here we have phone number as optional. Okay, let's do same on our main browser. So let's say we want to use another account and then we create an account to manage my business. And we use the same options here as tasty and queen. And we have Tasty Queen Restaurant in the password. Okay, so we move to Nest. Use eight characters or more for your password. In fact, the password should be more than this. So I'll use a password manager I have already, not now, in order for me to move on. So you see that with creating this on my browser, would require me to verify this with a phone number. So I have an email address which would be optional there. So we will rather choose a phone num an email rather than a phone number. And the day is 28th, 26, June 2000. Gender, custom, doesn't really matter. We rather not say. <laughs> there are a lot of orientations now. We move to Nest. Okay. We didn't agree to the privacy and terms. So then our Gmail account is created through an incognito window. We choose a template or a theme. We have to, you, you can click on all these links to learn more about them. For example, learn how to use Gmail. We click on that. Get Gmail for mobile. You can click on that. Choose a theme, import contacts and email. We click on that. Change profile image. We can do that later. 
But for, uh, I would like to change or choose a theme. I prefer the dark theme. And then I save. There you are. So now Tasty Queen is on Google now. I've created a Google account for Tasty Queen. That is perfect. Within a few minutes, I've been able to create an account for Tasty Queen restaurants without a verification through phone or without verifying through a phone. So that is our first message. Hi, Tasty Queen. Thanks for creating a Google account. Here is some advice to get started with your Google account. So that's our first message for Tasty Queen. That is perfect. So that's just about it. This is how you create an account without a mobile phone verification, but rather use an email verification for that purpose. When you go to that email you put on this account, any information pertaining to this email account, when there are restrictions or blockages, will go to that email for verification. Thank you very much. If you have any questions relating to this, let me know so that we can do another video on that.